So this right here is Remnote, and it's a note-taking application that uses space repetition for knowledge management for students. And that basically means it's a note-taking app for students. And it's quite helpful because it has some generous abilities. And today we're gonna review it and give you some insight into whether it's suitable for you. Before we begin this review, please do check out toolfinder.co. It's a site to help you find productivity tools, whether you're looking at Remnote or the alternatives and many more. You can find that linked below. You can also get a discount on Remnote below if you are interested after this video. So as I said, this one is designed for students and the idea behind it is to help create a knowledge base so that you can capture, organize and remember all of the things that you happen to come across whilst at university, college or in research. Now it's not dedicated to students, but it is very much designed for students. So you can use this outside of the realm if you do want to. Now, inside of your account, you do get unlimited notes and flashcards. Flashcards can be accessed here, and they allow you to create, essentially, little flashcards from the notes within your account. This is perfect for practicing, and naturally allows you to access them on any device in the free plan. So the free plan is pretty accessible. There are some limits to the amount of files you can upload per day, and also the PDFs, elements, and things like that, um, and more of the advanced features, but we'll cover that later on. Now, in terms of the pro pricing, it's $8 per month or $96 per year. There's also a lifelong learner pricing, which is a one-time payment that I believe covers up to five years of use. And if you think about it, that's probably something that is better suited for those who are maybe doing a PhD or something like that and want something a bit more robust. So that's just something to note, and that's $395. But the premium pricings basically unlock the ability to do unl unlimited annotation, PDFs, files, and unlimited exams, file uploads, as well as some advanced features like math latex and many more uh, table and tag abilities, as well as a few other bits and bobs. So let's get into the general experience of Remno and how to get started. So as you can see here, RemNotes comes on a range of devices. This is the Mac version. And if I click on all notes, you can see the documents that I got, the folders or the PDFs that I've got in my account. Now, as I said, PDFs is unlocked under the premium. Documents is where it all starts. So if I click into a document, very much like Google Docs, I can add images, I can add files as well. And what's nice as well is if I do upload the PDFs with the premium version, I can upload them here and well, you get free, free ones, but naturally I can actually annotate them. So let me show you how that is done. So here's one I've got on Italian learning. What I can do is say I wanted to pick, uh, you know, father or be able to highlight something in a the text, then I can highlight it. And that's perfect for coming back to it later on. I can also uh, change the color. I can make a specific note on this and link it to something else in my account. I can also explain it using their explain functionality, which is a feature that scans the web to find a suitable suggestion. So this is really a good feature if you're somebody that uses a lot of, um, not only PDFs, but also uh, documents that you wanna upload. I believe they have the ability to upload um, PowerPoints too, which is helpful as well. Now the PDF function is good and uh, it can easily be accessed uh, as well, allowing you to leave highlights that you can view on this right hand side and a table of contents too. You can also modify what this looks like in terms of uh, your actual page, but let's come out of that. So as you can see, this is what a document looks like. And the one thing you can do inside of each document is basically type in uh, a uh, basically a phrase like, for example, question equals equals answer. Now you're probably wondering why am I doing this? But because every time you press equals equals after something, you can create yourself a preview of a flashcard and the flashcard can then be used as part of your revision. And this is really helpful because when you open the mobile version or the desktop version, you can go up here to practice today's cards and go through some of the items. So I can get an idea, I can test myself, okay, I think that's answer, and I can say something like, okay, I record it with effort, which means that it's gonna come back in 24 hours, but if I easily record it, it'll come back in four days. Now, the cool thing here is if I skip this, it'll come back in an hour. If I forgot it, it'll come back in a minute. So they've designed something with space repetition that allow you to enhance the way that you're learning. And this is perfect for students. If I press show uh, card, then I can also do the same, easily record, and I can show other stuff like that. 
Now this is really insightful and there's even an area where you can see analytics and statistics for each of the things that you're learning. This is perfect for seeing things like um, statistics of uh, basically like habits you're going through across every day and how many cards you're progressing through. And there's even a feature called exam which will allow you to uh, basically set up a, uh, a goal and when that exam is going to be. So for example, if you want to search a document for your exam, then, for example, it's going to set a period of time so that it's got a focus to work on and then obviously focus all those cards towards it. So the flashcard ability is a real notable experience inside the account, especially with space repetition. That works incredibly well. So as you can see, you can create a folder, a document, a tag and table, which is basically a way to create a tag that has tables and templates as part of it. So, for example, if I put classes and I go uh, down here, then I can see all of the tagged REMS, which is what they call notes, as part of it. And this is really helpful for scanning through stuff and finding relevant tags that you can quickly find across your account. So think of this as almost like an organization system, which is very beneficial for students. Now, there's another ability called Today's Note, which is basically daily notes. And up here, you can scan through. You can also write them out, which means you can use it as not only a journal, but also a planner as well for the day's tasks. And also, you can use it for your own notes as well. Now, what's cool is you can uh, press uh, slash command and you can still use all of the other elements like multimedia as part of this, even connecting a wide range of abilities like columns, dividers, callouts, and all of the math stuff that is very uh, complex. But you can also create a multi-line flashcard from here as well. And also you can create an image occlusion flashcard, which is very cool. Something I'll show you how it works in a bit. But most importantly, like note-taking in many of these other applications, you can create a reference. And as you can see, I've created a reference between Italian culture. Now, if I click into it or hover over it, I can see what the reference is. And I can also preview what that page looks like. I can also scan the Wikipedia page and find a monomic, which I don't know what that means, but I assume it's basically what it means in that language. Now you can also create what's called definition cards as part of that. So for example, if I wanted to create a definition card on Italian culture, if I click and go to the REM, that will save it into the account. Now this is perfect for those who want to be able to use uh, Google or resources like that to be able to pull in items uh, from the web, which is very, very helpful. So it basically formalizes your account in a bit of a better way. Now, of course, underpinning this is a search bar. So for example, if I press it, type in chow, I can find it really easily. So that's one of the benefits of having an account there. Now, obviously, when you're creating an account, you don't, uh, you're not really restricted the bullet setup. You can go ahead and use headings as well. So if I type in heading, I can use heading one, two, and three, and it also comes with markdown as well. So if you want to switch between that two, that's very helpful. Now there is a table view and a numbered list view, and you can connect documents anywhere inside of your account. Now, if I wanted to add a task, I could quickly do a task like this, and I can tick these items off. And if you notice in the right-hand corner, I can see any of the upcoming uh, specific uh, flashcards that are part of this account. So for example, that one definition I brought in earlier is technically a uh, card, which is very helpful. So for example, I can set an exam date and help to plan towards the exam and prioritize the revision as well, which means I can see the learning priorities of them. And that's really helpful for students to be a bit more effective in their decisions. You can also practice the flashcards in order, but that comes as part of a pro experience. Now there is an ability to turn this into a table view, which allows you to see it in a bit more of a structured manner, which is great for those students who want to use advanced filtering to see how many times you've reviewed something, which is helpful. And that helps you to narrow down tags as well. So as part of your account, there are a few different customizations that you can get started with. For example, you can change the interface to be dark mode, and it's a nice little transition. You can also add some custom CSS if you've got the right skills. And there's also a bunch of abilities when it comes to the editor, spell checking, and some of the keyboard functionality, which is really good. There's also some quick lookup abilities, which is popular for medical use, as well as um, things like um, Amboss, which is used for medical students, so you can basically weave that into your system too uh, if you want to specificize it, specificize it to your medical uh, learning. 
There's also uh, an ability to see um, features like AI uh, grader, which helps you to grade the answer that you've got as well. There's a bunch of abilities here as well when it comes to the cards and accessing that. Now, obviously there's AI features and obviously you get more of that, but you can also connect it to OpenAI key too. So in terms of other abilities, I can go ahead and upload a PDF directly, and that also includes work documents as well, which is great for viewing it in reader, and managing it there. There's an area called edit later, which is perfect for seeing things that you're reviewing for a better time. And if you type in PEL, it will remove it from your regular flashcard study and bring it here for later, which might be more suitable if you've got something for an exam later on. So what's cool as well is you can see how many cards you need to study and what you've studied so far. And in all notes, you can manage everything there as well as seeing filters on the top. Now notes are really easy to use and you can actually use some of these definitions straight away. There's also a area to create a menu uh, down in the bottom below, which means that you can pop open and quickly start formatting the uh, document with things like headers and something called close, which is great for filling in the blank cards. So for example, if I said um, Ferrari will win the world championship in 2025. So as you can see here, it, as you can see here, what it's done is basically use and split the close. So it allows me to see the answer and you can test yourself here. This is a great way to uh, set things up that it doesn't just require a flashcard, but also help you to do it for later. So one other thing I wanted to show you is the ability to annotate uh, the different things you've got in your account. So for example, if you wanted to create a flashcard about certain things like, uh, here we go, uh, let's create one from scratch. Uh, this is probably not gonna be fantastic, but if I press generate AI uh, cards, what it's gonna do is pick out certain things like text in that page, which is helpful. But if I wanted to, um, I can actually uh, preview that and I could, if I wanted to, I could basically go uh, and, and hide certain things that I can basically test myself on. For example, here I could say, okay, what's a lumbar? No idea, vertebra, there you go. So that's cool because I used a little bit of AI to scan through that and block the text, but you can do that and choose that of your own liking. Now I've created 15 cards that I can use space repetition on to basically learn my way through uh, an image uh, in per se. Now you only get that a few times because obviously it uses your AI uh, function and also naturally is locked under the premium. So that's just something to know. So who should use Remno? I would say this is great for those students who prioritize flashcards and who want um, to bring in PDFs. It's actually a fairly reasonable pricing for the monthly if you've got uh, images and PDFs and loads of multimedia that you're bringing in and sort of collaborates everything in one. It's those who want more than just a note-taking app, a study companion, much more so. Um, and some of the negatives were, are that it probably does take a little bit of time to learn it because you've got these definitions, you've got these uh, flashcards, you've got a wide range of abilities like referencing. And for some students, that might be quite overwhelming. So as you can imagine, hopefully this gave you an insight into whether the review, this app is suitable for you in the review. And we look forward to helping you find the best one. So thank you very much. I'll talk to you very soon. Please do check out Ramnote below in case we have a deal.